What's up, people? What's up, people? Yeah. Welcome back to the program. This is funny stuff. Oh, yeah. Watch this part. Well, if you were in the chat room yesterday, you probably... The greatest part about this is this is proof that I have a problem. It's called gambling. I'm calling it quits. There's no possible way I'm going to sit there. No possible way. Tick by tick. Tick by tick. It's just killing me. Killing me. What was I saying for the last week? So there I was saying how I'm never going to trade ever again, right? I got to say, 15 minutes after that video was completed, I was immediately buying DRYS and getting hammered. Hammered. So you have to understand one thing. That's a problem. That's a problem. Because I meant that. I meant that. I wasn't going to trade, which I'm trying to not do today. I covered some cues this morning already. It's fantastic stuff. I basically was 100% committed to that. And within 15 to 20 minutes later, I had already forgotten all about what I was saying. I saw the market move and I had to get in. So, if you are still debating what to do right now, like I said, cash is king. Stay out of this. And don't get hurt, for the love of God. Because if you could tell me why it was a good time to buy stocks yesterday at 2 o'clock. Oh, maybe just an oversold rally that had to come. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if you saw that on your charts, but if you sit there watching it tick by tick, which I don't want to do, but you have to, if you're actually going to make money, you saw the market just basically pause and stop going down. There was no volume going in, then it started to tick up, and the shorts started to cover, and that was how to make money. Also, I have to assume that Carl out there, now we all don't know if you all remember Carl or not, Carl's my psychological experiment to the trading. An analyst who thought he was able to trade. And I said, once you sit in front of the computer and watch the stocks day by day, tick by tick, you'll never make money ever again. All your great ideas will go to shit. And you'll doubt yourself in what you want to do with the rest of your life. And you'll probably want to go sell mattresses just like the rest of the guys over at Countrywide are going back to do. That's right. They're going from bankers and brokers to selling mattresses. How's that life? So, Carl, this is going out to you, buddy. Can I just assume you sold Yahoo and uh, you sold Yahoo and uh, the BX and the eBay and every other position because you did what's typically done. You capitulated, bought. You were so fed up, so fed up that the market was going up without you every day and all your great ideas that you didn't buy that you told me that you liked and watched them go up 20, 30 points without you. Then you capitulate and you said, God damn it, I got to get into something. And then you decide to hold. That signifies a top. You did one of the most common mistakes. You capitulate, bought. Capitulated and you bought because you were fed up. That's how you signify a top. That's when I know when my uncles start buying stocks, they're generally the last to get in. And that's when you should start selling. So then there you go. The market got hammered every day pretty much since you saw, decided I'm going to hold on to stocks and not be a trader and be a, a, an investor slash swing trader slash farmer, whatever you want to be. And then the stocks are there sitting at the lows of the day from the lowest part of the year at the lowest point we've been in six months. And that's when you decide to sell, right? Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, I know, now that, now that you're flat and you're feeling good about yourself, you're getting your head screwed on straight, these are all the typical phrases and key attitudes that an addicted gambler has. you got to check yourself right now. Think about what you want to do with the rest of your career, and this is going out to everybody. Don't fool yourself. This is a hard, hard business. Don't fool yourself thinking that it's going to get better, because trust me, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it goes on for a year and a half, and it doesn't get any better. Okay? So basically, the only reason I'm still in the business, because I went through that, is because I learned how to hedge. And any position I, just, I got caught in, a bad trade that became an investment, I immediately triple hedged it. So if it went down, the battle cry. And if it went down, at least I was hedged. I knew that I, I immediately locked in to the point where I could lose a certain amount of money, and that was it. But if you're not hedging yourself, and you're just sitting there churning and burning your account, and not knowing what you're doing, please... Just move on. Go find another job. I know I know you want to have this job where we don't have to have regular hours. We can come and go as we please. We don't have to wear suits, all that great stuff. The day trader life. But if you're getting hammered every day, it's not good for you, your family, or anybody around you. Because I'm telling you, you're going to lash out. You're going to lash out. The greatest part about this is, this is proof that I have a problem. It's called gambling.